So people love the romance on the hit show Bridgerton, and while dating has changed a lot since that era, <laughs> many singles still craving that old school romantic moments that we see in the series. So today, we're happy to have local professional matchmaker, Sabrina Lorbecki from It's Just Lunch in the Twin Cities. Hey, thanks for being here. Thank you. What oh. a great way to start my day. <laughs> oh, great. Um, so for those of us yeah, who me. haven't seen Bridgerton, <laughs> uh, give us just like a sneak peek of the show. Uh, Bridgerton is basically a Netflix series mm -hmm. uh, based in London, so mm -hmm. super romantic, or 1800s, uh, where the siblings are trying to fall in love with a little bit of drama involved. What is so mm -hmm. appealing about the show about dating back then? So it's the old school style of courtship dating, yeah. right? Meeting face to face. Is there chemistry? Is there that romanticized idea of nothing around me but the person in front mm. of me. Mm. Getting away from our phones, essentially, is what, is what it sounds like. Absolutely, yeah. which mm -hmm. we'll get into. <laughs> yeah, so what, what, if you're watching the show or if you're just sort of thinking back to that era, what are the, some of those things that we can think about today in dating? Well, first, keep it simple, right? The first dates don't need to be lavish and huge, very mellow, very simple. You know, just a convenient lunch, drink after work, which is what I do, and it's just lunch, mm -hmm. very low pressure. Yeah. But also, you know, remember keeping, dating takes time, Yeah. right? Don't be worried about, is there instantaneous spark? Sometimes you have to meet a few people in order for that to come to fruition. Yeah, mm. a slow burn essentially is well, almost kind of what yeah. manners are gonna be important too. A hundred percent, you know, dust off your manners, be courteous, if you are getting to a restaurant, open the door for someone. You know, if the end of the evening, if you've driven together, open the car door for someone or walk them to your to their Uber. You know, mm -hmm. make sure that they get home okay. Right. I mean, those are also common sense things. You would think too. so. But, but, but I will mm -hmm. tell you, like, of a lot of the dating stories that I've heard from friends, that's not necessarily happening all the time. No, not at all. You know, and it, the hard part is, is I hear all the time, people are always on their phone, yeah. right? I mean, I was watching a video the other day, a TED Talk, where all of a sudden in the middle of the interview, he does this. And now pretend this is my phone. And all of a sudden he's talking. And the whole group, right, look at your faces, yeah. right? Now, he didn't look at the phone. I haven't looked at anything. But think about that on a date. Yeah. Right. right. Like instantly, right. you're no longer the person that they want to talk to. They're interested in what's in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, you know, mm -hmm. keep it simple, dust off those manners, yeah. be kind, caring, and unless it's an emergency, right. put your phone away. Now Bridgerton does take it to the next level, I <laughs> shall say. So maybe we're not talking about some of those things, but sort of it's, it's kind of just goes back to this like classic style of mm. just sort of mm -hmm. being a good person when you're out there dating, right. like putting your best self forward. Exactly, and you know, keep yourself in the moment. Talk about things that are interesting to the other person. Yeah. Keep those topics, you know, those taboo topics off of the table mm -hmm. for those first and second dates. Okay. Yeah. Those topics will come up. You know, yeah. get to know the person, see if there's chemistry, have yeah. a little fun. Okay, okay. All, all right. right. Sabrina, thank you. We appreciate you. it, thank you're you. Welcome.